Hello again folks and welcome to Black Bear Outdoors and today we're talking optics in particular pistol and carry pistol optics. Now just full disclosure this video is about a Vortex product but Vortex has no idea who I am I'm sure and we did buy this uh, with our own money and that is also why we're not going to torture test it. Uh, there's a number of different channels who have torture tested uh, this little optic and it has shown some incredible durability. Now I want to use it and I want to carry it so I ain't going to break it all right. All right, so uh, basically guys, Vortex probably doesn't need any introduction. Uh, they have been around for quite some time, as I believe it's a family owned uh, business up in Wisconsin. And they make some great optics. I mean, they have a wide range of stuff from super high end, super expensive things to more affordable options as well that is still really good quality. For example, I had a little Spark AR uh, red dot, just a basic red dot, uh, but that thing was bomb proof. Uh, I ran it on anything from a 22 to a 12 gauge and it held zero and it was just absolutely brilliant, right? On top of that, uh, the little screw that I used to kind of mount it onto different Picatinny rails ended up wearing out. That's how many times I've changed uh, it on rifles, right? And I contacted Vortex, asked them what size screw that is and they just sent me a whole new mounting system for it absolutely free wonderful customer service second to none so i cannot recommend them enough so vortex had a few uh, pistol optics out before like the venom and so forth uh, in my opinion they were not the most popular out there and apparently they did have some problems i don't know i've never shot one of those however when the ccw came out that really piqued my interest because i was looking for a small profile uh, red dot that's going to be durable and that you can put on a little carry pistol like in our case the Smith & Wesson Shield Plus. Now this is supposed to be a pretty big improvement on their previous uh, iterations and a lot of people have said a lot of good things about them so we thought we would check them out as well. So guys we, what we're going to do is same as usual again we are in the land of the free and the home of the brave uh, so things are slightly different we're not going to take it into the table but we'll take it into a table. Uh, take a closer look at the uh, uh, features that it offers and then we get to the fun stuff where we take it out to the range and uh, see how well it performs. So stay tuned. Alright folks, now that we've got the optic on the table, let's check it out. Now when you buy your little Defender, it comes in a box like this. You can see on the box this is the 6MOA version. It comes with all kinds of stuff, obviously the optic, it comes with about eight little bags like this, which is a screws uh, for various kinds of pistols, so you should be able to fit this on most anything out there. And what I do like is it comes with two sets of screws just in case you lose one, which is really convenient. And it already has blue Loctite on there as well. I think that stuff should come with every accessory that you get. It also comes with this little Picatinny rail attachment, so if you want to put it on a rifle as like a backup um, red dot, this works really well. It comes with a little rubber hood, which actually works. It fits there, it doesn't fall off, which is nice. And also, you get this little tool. Now, this is a tool that you'll use to uh, attach the, uh, the optic with the little kind of Allen side there. And it's also the tool that you'll use to replace the battery. And you can use those sides there to uh, adjust your red dot optic. So as you can see, we've got it on our um, Smith & Wesson MMP shield here. A uh, nice little optic for a nice little pistol. Uh, you will notice that it does have a little overhang here, but that doesn't bother me at all. Um, a nice feature about it is it's got uh, big buttons on the side. So on the right hand side, you have the adjustment down and on the left hand side you have the adjustment up, right? So it has eight different brightness settings and then two night vision settings as well. You'll notice it's got kind of a square profile and what, from what I've seen with uh, a number of these torture test videos on optics, the square ones seem to be a little bit tougher than the uh, more rounded versions like my Romeo. Uh, it has a polymer insert here that's kind of a shock absorbing uh, insert that helps protect your optic as well. And as you can see, it's got the serrated front there. I hope you can see that. And that is apparently to what they call the fast rack system, I believe. 
and that'll help with racking off a belt or off an obstacle or off a table or whatever if you only have the use of one hand. Now the adjustments uh, for uh, kind of zeroing your red dot, you'll see on there's a little uh, screw on here that your um, windage and then over here you have a little screw for your uh, elevation, right? So they say it clicks. I could not feel uh, the clicks at all. However, it's very, very simple to adjust and the zeroing it wasn't very difficult at all. I do like the fact that it's a top loading battery. It takes the CR1632 batteries and they say it gives you 9,500 hours of battery time. Now, a lot of people would say, oh, but that's so much less than the others. Uh, in my honest opinion uh, and in my experience, those people who say their batteries last for 50,000 hours, that's garbage. Um, for example, uh, the Romeo 1 Pro that I've got on uh, the SIG uh, says 20,000 hours. I had to replace it in four months. Um, and that's kind of understandable because if you think about it, this optic as well has kind of the, well, it's not called that, but it's like the shake awake feature or SIG's MOTAC feature where as soon as it feels movement, it comes on. Now, if you're going to be wearing this as a CCW kind of uh, optic, which I do with both of them, it's going to be moving the whole day. So it's going to be on the whole day, right? Uh, so yeah, you better be aware of that. The battery will not last that long. And in my personal opinion, you know, having a battery that lasts two years is probably more important if you have to remove your entire optic to replace the battery. However, with the front or with the top loading battery compartment, it's super simple and quick just to throw a new battery in there. So I've taken some advice from a friend of mine and I switch my batteries out every three months regardless, right? So I know there's a fresh battery in it and it's never going to let me down. So uh, maybe Vortex is a little bit more uh, honest with their battery time than the other guys. I don't know. However, um, it's not something that's going to bother me in the least, right? Another observation is when it comes to these little micro red dots, right? Uh, this one seems to have a very nice, uh, fairly big window, which is quite a nice kind of viewing window. And uh, it has the shield RMS footprint. So it's probably going to fit on quite a few different pistols. Now, the uh, Defender also comes with a one degree shim. Uh, and I actually use that because the manual said if you are going to be zeroing it in less than 15 yards Then you should use that one degree shim. I did that and uh, Mine I usually zero at around 10 yards, especially for a small pistol like this uh, It's for defensive purposes. So, you know quick target acquisition. I'm not looking at shooting little clover leaves with it I just want to hit the bad guy if, if required, right? So one of the things that I truly like about vortex is their lifetime warranty, right? So I know if anything ever goes wrong with this uh, little optic, I can send it back and they'll replace it. Uh, honestly, I've never dealt with a company with better customer service than Vortex. So tip of the hat to them for that. And uh, yeah, guys, I think that is pretty much it that I can tell you about the uh, optic on the table. So let's get to the important part. Let's uh, see how well it does on the range. Stay tuned. All right, guys, taking it out to the range. Uh, it was pretty easy to zero. We had got a rough zero on it pretty quickly. And uh, with those little dialing knobs, you don't actually feel that, or I at least didn't feel the little tactile clicks, which is supposed to be one MOA adjustment. Uh, but that being said, it didn't bother me because it was pretty easy to dial in anyway. It's very similar to uh, the Romeo 1 Pro, for example, same thing. No, not much tactile feeling towards uh, those, but they're very, very easy to use, right? So one of the th complaints that people had about this particular little optic was the refresh rate. So what they're saying is that when you move from target to target, you're gonna see little dots instead of a line as it kind of draws, right? And that could be confusing to some. Personally, that doesn't bother me one iota because what I've noticed, if I take the pistol and I do this with it, I can see it. But that's not how I transition between targets. And maybe I'm just too slow because I'm old, right? Uh, but when I transition between targets, I try and pivot like a tank turret, right? 
and doing that I never even noticed the uh, refresh rate at all so perhaps it's just my old eyes or perhaps it's just me but for me that wasn't an issue at all especially for for the purposes of, the, of this uh, uh, optic that's going to be concealed carry on a small pistol uh, what I want to do is I want to get it on target quickly and make my shots right so to test this we actually started transitioning between steel and paper targets and mixture of them and just kind of went to town on it and that was quite a lot of fun I must confess So again, like I said, that refresh rate thing didn't bother me at all. And uh, I was very impressed with the performance of this little, uh, this little red dot. So once we had the rough zero and it's transitioning nicely, and we started focusing on steel targets because I don't know what it is about shooting steel. It's just so much fun. It's a really good way of burning through 400 rounds uh, in a short afternoon. <laughs> um, and you also notice my left hand kind of keeps adjusting every so often because that pistol got so hot you wouldn't believe but let's check it out Alright guys, final thoughts on uh, the uh, Vortex Defender CCW. I think it's a great little option for a concealed carry uh, optic. Uh, it can take a good beating, it's uh, very durable, it's got nice glass, uh, the dot is right there when you need it, uh, it held zero all the time. Uh, again, in my opinion, that refresh rate didn't bother me transitioning from target to target. I'm not an operator that operates operationally, so maybe uh, I'm not <laughs> the biggest expert on that side of things. However, for a normal average Joe carrying a CCW, I don't see it being an issue. Uh, again, it's affordable, it's uh, high quality, and it's backed up by Vortex's lifetime warranty. So from me, average Joe carrying a, a CCW pistol, I would highly recommend it. Guys, if you uh, enjoyed our video or learned something new today, please give us a thumbs up, leave us a comment down below and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so uh, you can see when we post up new videos. If you want to support us in a different way, we also have a Patreon account if you want to roll over there. And uh, you all stay safe and we'll see you next time.